the soul behind this video is that you can think something is beautiful and you can acknowledge that it's a gorgeous item, but you don't have to buy it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tor and this is Anthropology. Thank you for joining me in another video. Um, in today's video, I will be talking about luxury items that I'm glad I did not buy. I actually got this idea from Cassie. She's a YouTuber here within the luxury YouTube community. I'll link her video down below. But she sort of went through the items that she was really lusting over last year that were very trendy, that are no longer <laughs> trendy, and she is glad she didn't buy. Because, you know, now after thinking, after sitting on it, she's like, I don't want that anymore and it really got me thinking are there items that i really wanted last year that i didn't purchase for whatever reason they just didn't you know grab me i didn't get that oh, i need to have it you know moment and i didn't purchase it and now i'm glad i didn't because hindsight's always 2020 so without further ado let's get into the video so welcome to my channel here on this channel we talk about luxury we talk about designer reviews we do the occasional shopping vlog i'm doing a few more so stay tuned and we occasionally do the spiritual chat. So if you are interested in joining this community, please subscribe down below, like this video if you enjoy this sort of content and comment if there's items that you wanted and you didn't get for whatever reason, they just didn't pull you, they didn't give you that, you know, butterfly feeling in your stomach and now you're glad you didn't buy them. So let's get into the video. So first up on the list is the mini Dior saddle bag in velvet with the crystals. So they released this bag last year and they released it in a few different colors. So they had a pink, a black, and a like baby robin egg blue in the velvet. And then they also did a satin version as well. I was really after the blue color with the crystals in the velvet. I thought it was the most gorgeous bag I've ever seen in my life. It is still a very gorgeous bag, don't get me wrong, but it is a very situational bag. Like, could I wear the bag to go to the grocery store to, you know, just pick up a few goods? Probably would I look kind of ridiculous doing it, like maybe, but also that is sort of like my vibe as well, so who cares? But also, I just really feel like I wouldn't get the wear out of that bag in justification of the price. So the price is well over $3,000 and, you know, it's a very situational bag. I feel like you'd wear it a few times and it'd be like, oh, okay, like everyone's seen that bag now. What, what else do you have in your repertoire? I'm not saying if you have this bag, it was a mistake. Obviously, it's a very gorgeous bag. Crystals are having their moment. Velvet's sort of coming back. These statement mini bags are really here. Obviously, we see the Prada reissue with the crystals, which is gorgeous. Everyone really loves it. And I will be talking about that bag later. I love the idea of crystals and I love the idea of a velvet bag. Together, in my head, theoretically, it is a winner, but practically i probably would never wear it i would probably wear it once or twice and then it would stay in my closet and i'd just be like scared to wear it cause like, <gasps> what if one of the crystals fall off what if something like gets on the velvet and especially i picked like a blue and it just it wouldn't be very practical for my life especially for the price like i'm not made of money you know i have to work for these things and i really want to get the wear and longevity out of the items so i'm really glad that i sort of let that one come and go. What I've really learned, which is sort of, I guess, the soul behind this video is that you can think something is beautiful and you can acknowledge that it's a gorgeous item, but you don't have to buy it. You know, you have to think about your style. You have to think about the practicality of these items within your wardrobe, within your lifestyle. Or alternatively, if you have the moment where you see a bag and you're like, oh, I need that bag in my life or I'm gonna die. Like that's how I felt with this. But we'll talk about this one bit later. But yeah, if you don't have that feeling, don't buy it. Honestly, if it doesn't like sink in your soul and if you don't get urged to do it with some unknown force just propelling you to like purchase that item and you're literally going to die without it, don't buy it. Next on my list is a Celine small 16 top handle bag. I'm not sure how to, I think it's just called the Celine small 16. I love this bag. It gives me Hermes Kelly vibes. It looks ultra rich. It feels so luxurious, but the price is just, it's a lot. Like it is a lot for what you get. No resale value, honestly. I saw them on Fashion File for like $1,900 and I was like, 
Ugh, no thank you. But purchasing it, I believe they retail for 4,500. And I'm like, no, I just couldn't do it. I acknowledged that it was a gorgeous bag. I told myself earlier this year that it was going to be the bag that I'm going to get. I'm going to treat myself. It's gonna be my lifer bag. And I wanted to get it in the Amazon color, which is this gorgeous like foresty green. I tried it on a lot. And for whatever reason, I just couldn't pull the trigger. I think the amount of money for the bag, I just felt like it was too much. Like it was too, too damn much. And I just couldn't do it. So then came this angel baby. So I had been wanting, you know, a classic Celine bag for a long time, but none of them really spoke to me until I saw this. When I saw this online, I literally needed this bag. Either you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. So I saw this. I'm so glad I didn't buy the 16 bag and put money towards this instead. This was also less, you know, not that much less, let's be honest, but it was less. And I'm glad that I got this instead because I'm absolutely obsessed with this bag. I treat it like a little princess. I put it in its bag. I put the little like the things on it and I just let it be. So the next one is the Celine Mini Cabis Tote in the Triumph Canvas, but in the white or I guess spring summer colorway. So this is a runway item. It was after I had purchased this bag and I had fallen in love with this bag. I love the practicality of it. I love the no fuss about it. I'll link the review that I did uh, down below, but I saw the white version. I thought, oh my god, how perfect would it be to have a summer version and a winter version? And I messaged my salesperson right away. I basically was like, I want this bag. I need this bag. And then I waited like four months and the bag had come. My salesperson messaged me and I was like, oh, like, I don't know if I want it anymore. Like I have one version of this bag realistically do I need a carbon copy of this bag, like a twin to this bag in a different color? I saw the bag in person. I tried it on for some reason. I just was like really underwhelmed. And I know that they're releasing a variety of different sort of prints in this bag. The shape and the style is very wearable. It's very casual, it's very wearable. I love this bag, but I don't think people need more than one. It's like when people buy like the Louis Vuitton Speedy in every single color and they build a collection of it. Realistically, for the obsession with bags that I have versus how often I actually carry enough things to warrant carrying a bag, it's like the two are completely mismatched. Now, moving on to some Prada items, I have seen, you know, the bucket hat. The bucket has been making its rounds. It's been staying a lot longer than we all expected it to. It doesn't work for me. Every time I put it on, I either feel like I look like a child or I have like a lampshade on my head and it just doesn't work. I just can't, I can't vibe with it. I can't get with the vibe. I can't get with the look, but seeing everybody else have it, you know, I'm glad that it works for you. I'm glad that you love it, but I just really could never. I basically only wanted this item very minutely for like one minute. And I saw it in like a yellow color on Instagram and I was like, <gasps> but then I was like, <sighs> no, like pump the brakes. Like that's ugly. It doesn't look good on your face. So just put it down, keep going. So the next one is the Prada Re-Edition 2000 nylon mini bag in the color pineapple. So I saw this yellow color way too damn late. I saw it, I think it was released in the summer of last year. I saw it in the fall of last year. I messaged my salesperson being like, hey, I know it's been out of stock on the website for months now, but is there any possibility you can get it? Please let me know. And I messaged her like four different times, like every month and no such luck. And now looking back, I'm really glad I didn't because the universe was saying, B, just wait, this little princess angel cupcake is coming into your life and you don't need that one. You have this one, you don't need that one. So I'm really glad I didn't buy that one. Plus I feel like it's, it is like classic considering it was reintroduced from the 2000s. So if you realistically think about it, you can say that it's been in circulation for 20 plus years. However, I feel like it's really popular just given that the Y2K fashion trend has been pretty heavy hitting and has been sort of lasting for a while. So I don't know how long this bag will last. I mean, this bag is under 1000, so it's not astronomical in terms of bag prices. So you can treat it as a trendy item and just use it like for the time being. I don't want to buy trendy items anymore. I just like, <gasps> 
You know, trendy items come and go so fast, but I just don't think the longevity is there for me. And then the last item on my list is the classic designer AirPod case. But the idea of getting a $1,400 case, for example, like this Prada one in order to just house my AirPods and like keep them safe, like a little baby, I just, I couldn't do it. I'm like, there are bags that are this much. There are bags, like full bags that are this much. And I was just like astonished. And the fact that it was out of stock, like people bought it. People bought it, not me, but people bought it. Did I think about getting a designer AirPod case? Sure, they came out, they were hot, they were trendy. You know, anyone who was anyone had one. But then you're like, you have to think back and be like, does this really matter for me? Will I use this $300 plus AirPods case enough times and get enough wear out of it for it to warrant the price of being whatever one you decide to pick? I just can't wrap my head around an accessory for an accessory. All right, well, this was just a fun video, you know, just to discuss things that we may have wanted at one time that we no longer want. And I really hope for all of you that made it to this point in the video that you really enjoyed this content. Um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate every single view, comment, like, and subscriber that I get. So please comment down below if there are any items that really stood out to you that you also wanted and didn't buy and for whatever reason, or if any of these items you did buy and you love them. So please join the family, click the notification bell to notify you whenever I post a video. Also, I will put up my Instagram right here. I post, you know, a mix of content. It's usually my cat and then me and then my cat and then me. You know, we just keep going. It's basically a shared Instagram account, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.